When using colour flow Doppler in the presence of mitral stenosis, images such as these are usually seen with flow accelerating towards the valve, followed by a lengthy jet passing from the valve and spreading out towards the apex of the left ventricle. Looking closely, you can see clear evidence of proximal flow acceleration within the left atrium in the form of a very obvious hemispherical proximal isovelocity surface area, or PISA. Mitral stenosis affects other parts of the heart too that can be seen on echocardiography. This is primarily related to the significant increase in left atrial pressure occurring as a consequence of the valve obstruction. Left atrial dilatation occurs as a consequence of the chronic elevation of left atrial pressure. Over time, structural changes within the left atrial wall myocardial tissue result in fibrosis that reduces the ability of the atria to contract. An enlarged atrium with reduced contractility causes blood movement to slow down or pool. This can lead to thrombus formation. This often occurs within the left atrial appendage, but thrombi can also form on the chamber wall or atrial septum. Spontaneous echo contrast appearing like smoke in the left atrium is seen when there is stasis of blood. The increased pressure within the left atrium will be transmitted back through the pulmonary venous system, leading to abnormal findings within the right side of the heart. Pressure overload on the relatively thin-walled right ventricular chambers can lead to dilatation. Right atrial size, together with both right ventricular size and function, should be assessed. Functional tricuspid valve regurgitation may be significant due to the right ventricular dilatation. Increased pulmonary venous pressure leads to pulmonary hypertension. Over time, this can result in permanent increases in pulmonary vascular resistance due to damage to the pulmonary vascular bed. Pulmonary pressure estimation should be performed in all patients with mitral stenosis by measuring the tricuspid regurgitation peak velocity. The inferior vena cava diameter and assessing the inferior vena cava compliance in response to inspiration. In patients with mitral stenosis, left ventricular size and function usually remains within a normal range. However, it's likely that diastolic function will be impaired as a result of the limited flow through the mitral valve. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.